Studio Gallery, Morley Road. This is a sequence of studies of water flowing in a river gorge outside Launceston. And the idea is to get in both close up to the water and to include something of the distance in the rocks over a sequence so that there will be three of these. This is one. And and then you pass on to the next one. The idea is to mimic the feeling that you get by a river when you're sitting close to a body of water, just looking, drinking it all in, listening to a bit of music, and watching the, the play and interaction of, of water with stone, that these, this is something that's been going on for millions of years, and as you get close to it, you're allowed, in a way, to feel part of it. And, of course, there is there's such a history of watching water. I mean, Leonardo did these marvellous studies. So why shouldn't we go and look too, do you know? And the thing about Launceston, where I live, is that it's only 10 kilometres away to have this wild gorge where no one ever goes, really. And you can just go down there and watch and drink it all in. So there are two scales here. One is close up. And this is the <coughs> something which you see in, in painting which influences me, which is the French and English Impressionist, which is a raw, a raw use of pigment, which is also informative. It's, it's, uh, it's uh, shorthand for life, you know? And you can feel the flaminess and of, of foliage. Um, and the softness of rock, and then this uh, this dance in the water, which is the dance of light on a moving surface, which is also transparent. And I start these with with drawings. This is another drawing. It's actually a drawing. This is a drawing of the heads of tea trees. But a tea tree is a very tall, slender creature. You find them all over Tasmania. And if you stand on the ground looking up at the top, you find that the heads of these creatures, they're always moving like islands, but they never touch each other. They have this beautiful pattern in between, and they've worked out exactly how to keep their own freedom, and also to live together as a group. And this process of drawing is something which I think a lot of artists do. And um, the, and we all perhaps have slightly different influences. This would be another one. <clears throat> you know, in my case, it's certainly looking at French artists, but there is a freedom about being here, which I find is very useful, in that you, you have to make things up as you go along. But this is how they begin, just with raw color. And the process is one of drawing, as, as um, with black and white just sitting there, looking. But with the drawing, <coughs> this is the underpainting. And then, once that's fixed, you go over with another colour, but you can feel the underpainting under the colour on top. That's a very important part of the whole process. But it all begins with drawing. Watching. <coughs> 